Hi, everybody. It's me, Zachary Michael. Also, and don't even pay attention to the people in the chat. I know they're about love, to say love, something love rude. I know they're about to. You tubies, you just missed 20 minutes of Michael Zachary also gaslighting the chat. Send help. They're screaming at us. <laughs> screaming? You think I was screaming? <laughs> You, you think I was screaming at you? I don't know about that. <laughs> Zach just told me I have to become an American. I did not. I did no such thing. They've been yelling at us for an hour. That's also not true. <laughs> Y'all are so goofy. We gotta move on. I've got other things to do. <laughs> I have a video to edit still. We've got other things to do. Marsha girl. Y'all, Marsha is my new fave person in the chat, but she is struggling with... I, here's what happened, okay? What happened is that I went to click record so we could record this portion of the stream, and I accidentally clicked end stream. And now it's devastated people who don't know how to refresh the app. Um... And I don't know what to tell them. I don't know how to help that. And and I don't know what that looks like. Because I can't, I don't know how to help with that. But apparently Marsha's working it out. Maybe she'll be back. That, maybe she'll figure it out. We'll see. <laughs> we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. But I pressed the wrong button. I'm willing to admit my faults. I did accidentally end the live stream and instead of clicking record. Um, so here we are. Um, all right. But anyways, YouTube beads today, we all know that famously I'm the only one allowed to cover Mima, the Alabama prepper. Jazz, thanks for gifting a, a sub to Evie builds. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I'm the only one. Cinnamon Toast Ken. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. I'm the only one that is allowed to cover. That's not what I wanted. I did not want to have a monopoly on the Mima reactions or content. Um, <laughs> but it's been, there's been a definite lack of Mima content on my channel, at least. And we've done a lot of food content this week. So I figured we could end the week with a little Mima, with a little with a little Margaret from Alabama Prepper. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. Now I, she does she does have a, a recent video, a love, recent ish love, 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 video. Seeming, crying, his in and shit in, and I'm proud to be an American. Where at least I know I'm free. The Zach Eleven praying. The Zach Eleven Reba. The Zach Eleven Lisa. The Zach Eleven angry. The Zach Eleven Reba. Um, Diet Sodi, thanks for the 100 bits. It's crazy because I know you're not American. Um, what was I gonna say though? Oh, she does have a more recent video, but I feel like I would would maybe rage quit it. <laughs> I haven't watched it. I think some people from the Twitch chat have watched it. It's about the Baltimore bridge collapse. And I, I feel like it can make me rage. So instead I decided to sort by most popular. We've watched this video called what I saw at Walmart. It's getting worse. She has a, another video about what is Walmart thinking? Not good at the busiest time of year. I was kind of interested in, I don't want to scare you. This is real. <laughs> or, or potentially it's getting to get bad here. It's beginning to get bad here. Slash Alabama prepper. Or we're in trouble. Many don't believe. Or a farmer's wife's warning. Slash get prepared. <laughs> Should we do a poll? We should do a poll. Let me do a poll. This is where this is where I would love um, the feedback from the Twitch chat, which I don't ask for often. But right now, 
It's not it's not a prediction, it's a poll. Which one do you want to watch? Which do you want to watch? Uh I don't want to scare you. It's beginning to get I think we've watched enough about Walmart, so I'm going to leave that out. It's beginning to get bad. A farmer's wife's warning. We are, hey, would it be helpful if I could type, in trouble, many don't believe. Well, it, we are, it's just going to be we are in trouble because that doesn't, the whole title doesn't fit. So those are your options. These are all older videos. They're about a year old. Spoiler alert, it's all about Walmart. <laughs> this is triggering my ASMR. Listen, we were watching some Eric Kim ASMR earlier for all of two seconds, and the chat was about to lose it. So I'm so sorry for diagnosing you all with ASMR today. That was not my intent. Not my intent. But yes, I'm soliciting suggestions. If you want to give them, if you want to give them, give them. Uh, it's looking like a somewhat close split. Somewhat close split. Of course, I feel like what, what y'all are doing is just picking the longest one of the options I gave you. Because <laughs> currently, We Are In Trouble, Many Don't Believe is in the lead. <laughs> it's currently... The poll's not polling for you? Y'all, I... I, I I've, I've reached my limit in being able to troubleshoot Twitch for you all today. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I have the capacity to help with troubleshooting Twitch anymore today. Granted, the first issue was my fault. <laughs> that was my issue. You would have never been in that predicament had I not accidentally ended the stream. But now it's on you. Now it's on y'all, not Zach screaming again. Okay, YouTube, this is, I'm glad you're witnessing this. I'm glad now because you can tell. Am I yelling? YouTube, let me know in the comments. Let, let me know in the comments if you think I'm yelling. Let, just let me know. <laughs> not Marsha saying I'm yelling. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube will back us up. I we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Gonna go say yes in the YouTube comments. Love, this love, post. love my cream on wheat, wheat. Such an American thing to say. Get yourself off by the bootstraps. Why are you getting yourself off, hot Cheeto darling? Thanks for the bits. <laughs> love, love, love my cream on wheat, wheat. Rye Bunny, thanks so much uh, for subscribing with Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> and Jen, thanks for the bits. It's about love, to come through. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Girl, you're not yelling. Exactly, Jen. Thank you so much for the confirmation, affirmation. Appreciate it. Stop putting us in the dark. Mar Marsha, I'm not... The, the blackout on your screen is unfortunately not me. Like... <laughs> You're, you're, you're alone, girl. <laughs> you're alone, girly pop. I don't know what's going on with your device. I don't know how to help. <laughs> I really don't. I don't know how to assist, Marsha. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what device you're watching on. Maybe just turn everything off and turn it back on again. That's the, that's the only advice I can give you in the chat now, Okay. All right, so the winner was We Are In Trouble, Many Don't Believe. So I'm going to click on it. Why does this little thing say subs? Doms and subs, you know what I'm saying? Doms and subs. Y'all like a dom and a sub? All right, if you all are ready today and you want to watch some Mima talk about the end of the world, the end of times, go ahead and put some 69s in the chat. I should have got more water while I was up for my piss break, but I didn't.
I want Mima to talk about subs and doms. That would be crazy content. <laughs> that would be such wild content. You want to make more piss? I'm a piss factory, baby. I'm a piss factory. <laughs> You think Meemaw's looking glammed up? Do y'all still think I I look like Meemaw a little bit? Like, that could be my grandma or my mom. I don't know how old Meemaw is. <laughs> I, I would say grandma. She looks considerably older than my actual mom. Aren't we all just piss and shit factories? Ah, so, so deep. So deep. <laughs> <laughs> love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Mima got that Dream Mat Moose Foundation. How do you know that's Dream Mat Moose? Thanks so much for the bits. I think she said in her 70s. Hmm. Okay. I think you would rock the bangs like a little fringe right here. I don't know about that. But thank you. <laughs> it's unmistakable. Girl, I know shit about that. I'm sorry. I'm not a makeup girly. I'm not a booty guru. All right, let's um, let's just get to get to. Good Sunday morning to everybody. Good uh, Sunday morning to you too, Mima. It's so nice to be back. I'm Margaret from Alabama Prepper. Thank you for watching my channel. Good morning to all my friends, all my subscribers. It has been a good week this week. The video I put on last Sunday has just done so good. I'm just really shocked. And But I thank everybody for watching it. Uh, I am trying to respond. What was the video you posted last Sunday? How This was October 30th, 2022. Making people believe that our country is in trouble. Start preparing now. My video did not load correctly. Hashtag prepping. Hashtag canning. Hashtag Alabama prepper. Hashtag trouble. Hashtag survival. Hashtag sustainable. Well, shit. We're just going to have to go not knowing what the, the last video she posted is. Does she have captions? Yes. I got you, Diva. I got you. Hashtag Somehow or another, to every comment that Hashtag was put on it, you don't know how much I appreciate it. Uh, most of the comments was good. Mm. I learned a lot. People shared a lot with me. Okay. I did have a lot of comments that was bad. Tell uh, me more, Mima. I did not respond to them. Some of them, I deleted them. Who, who are we fighting, Mima? Who, who's coming and giving you bad comments? And what were they? I'd like to know. See, this is the thing. When people talk about getting, like, mean comments, bad comments, everybody has a different threshold for that, right? Like, that's very subjective. So I would like to know what that means for her. But I guess it's all Atlanta. All Atlanta? I got a lot of comments from people that was really sad. And love, I'm praying love, for these love, people, my we, if we. they're alive, if everything's as bad as they, as they say it is, it, it's a bad situation to be in. <laughs> uh, right, sorry, I'm not laughing at people being in a bad situation. This is just like, I just like, honestly, can't imagine living with so much doom and gloom. Like, I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. We clearly don't have enough context yet. But I just can't imagine. I just can't imagine having... Like, she seems so depressed. That's not a way to live. I, I would suggest maybe... <laughs> that's so... I know it's so tired to be like, have you tried therapy? But, like, maybe... Fry Bunny, thanks for the bits, by the way. And I hope nothing but the best for them. Amen. Oh, uh, what I would like to talk about this morning is the, I can't believe the people that don't realize that we're in trouble, that uh, 
our world is in trouble. Our economy is in trouble. Our country is in trouble. I have seen so many comments from people all over the world telling me how it is in their town or in their city, how bad it is. And and I know it's, I mean, I know it's that bad. I, I'm just curious, like, like, we're in trouble, but how fast is the trouble coming? How fast is the trouble coming? Because, like, this was October of 2022. So it's like a, a year and a half. It's been a, a year and a half, about to be two years since she filmed this. And, like, the world is still, is still going. <laughs> It's still happening. It's, I mean, it's kind of always been not great. <laughs> it's always been not great for people that don't look like me, Ma. You know? I can go, um, of course, this week. I have not been shopping at all this week. It's been a busy week. I have not been shopping anywhere this week. Okay. I'm going to hold more to the Dollar Tree. Oh, come on, Dollar Tree. Yes, let's fucking go. But also, what does shopping have to do with you being scared about the state of the world? See, this is also my, my concern and my issue is like, when when the state of the world and you being scared about the world is, is correlated with like, the capitalism of it all, of, like, what you can and can't buy, which, like, is important, right? Because we're forced to live under capitalism. But, like, if the only thing for you that you're worried about is, like, having to pay more, there's, like, a lot of people out there, Mima, that have worse problems. Or, like, problems, not worse problems, but problems on top of having to spend a little more at the Walmart, you know? And to the dollar stores. Uh, we have one pick and save in our town besides okay. Walmart. And I'm going to buy all of my meats and stuff there. So I'm going to, uh, to go, I think the cheapest thing to do and is to go to the dollar stores and the Dollar Tree and places like that. I don't have to have very much meat. Um, uh, you got... We got plenty. My family eats a lot of venison. I was going to say you got some canned venison. I, I've i seen your 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 hoard. You got some canned venison. I think you also had some frozen venison, too, you know? The grandson killed a deer this week. Amen. Oh, uh, I done a deer hunter's love, breakfast. Love, 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 yes. my cream all wheat, wheat. Mima, you have four freezers full of meat. Exactly. Exactly, JB. Today I videoed it. Uh, it will be up soon, and you can see what I cook for a deer hunter's breakfast. Okay. Most of what I cooked is stuff that I had in my pantry. Uh, you know, I, it wasn't an elaborate, but it was good. I fed a lot of people, okay, and they ate on it all day yesterday. Congratulations! It sounds like it sounds like the world is is prosperous for you. It's, it sounds it sounds like shit is working out for you. Not they ate Bambi's mom, Princess Luna. Can I tell you? Have I told you all? I think I've told Twitch at some point. Probably not the YouTubies. This guy that I worked with as an RA in college, he was from Chicago. I was, I had not lived in Chicago. I probably visited Chicago once at this point. Um, so I, I grew up in the middle of nowhere, in case you didn't know that about me. And he asked me if I ate deer. And I said, yeah, like my family grew, like I come from a family of hunters. Like my dad killed deer and we ate deer meat for a lot of our meat um a lot of our meals and he's like i can't believe i can't believe you ate you ate bambi's mom and i'm like i didn't eat bambi's mom what the fuck are you talking about and he's like yeah, how are you just gonna eat a, a an animal that's in your parks and i said girl where i come from animals are in my backyard like chickens are in my backyard pigs 
are in my backyard. Cows are in my backyard. Like, like I would literally have to be a vegetarian if I just like chose, chose not to eat, <laughs> not to eat something because it was in nature, not chickens by the park. <laughs> Not not deer in my backyard. <laughs> it's also part of population control in Illinois. Yeah, they, they do, um, like, they give out a specific number of deer tags every year so that, like, they can control the population or something like that. I don't know the details. Anyways, that guy was crazy. He said a lot of other really crazy fucking things to me before... Like, like, he was the guy that, I think I told this story too, but he was the guy that one time he was like, how do you know, um, how do you know that you're gay? Like, how do you know you didn't just, like, not meet the right girl? And I told him, I was like, yeah, that's a crazy thing to say. Like, I, I, I'm just gay. I was like, how do you, how do you know you're not gay if you've, like, never tried to be with a guy? If, like, that's your logic. And he was like... Mm, if I wanted, if I wanted to be, if I wanted to try it with a guy, I just turned my girl around and I said, that's it. And I walked out of the room. I literally walked out of the room because I was like, <laughs> that, I was like, ah, he was crazy. He was a crazy guy to work with. Uh, he was, he was wild. He was wild. He was not great. I didn't enjoy working with him. <laughs> if it's not clear and it's not apparent. Anyways, Mima. Oh my God. Could you imagine Mima watching this back and hearing me talk about that? <laughs> Hello, HR. Yeah, I mean... That was my very first semester as an RA. So, and that, that staff had so much drama. Um, I came in to being an RA that year, halfway through the year. So I was just trying not to make any waves. I was trying not to add to the drama. So I, I didn't actually tell anybody about it, but I probably should have in hindsight. But yeah, I did not, I, I surely didn't. It's another thing is in being prepared. All right, let's get prepared. But I'm going to uh, shop more, you know, in the dollar stores and the Dollar Tree to to get what I need. Okay, to get. I'm glad you have but access to that. It sounds like you're able to take care of yourself. People all over the world commented yourself. about what's going on in their city. Uh huh. How bad it is. Uh, you know, you have, I had some people tell me, you know, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're just misleading people. Oh, I, I, that it is not bad. It is not bad wherever they're at. I, <laughs> I do think you're kind of fear mongering people a little bit. You're kind of fear mongering a little bit. No, you don't think just a little bit. You're, the title of this video is literally, We Are In Trouble, Many Don't Believe. Your other videos were titled, the other one we are considering watching was called, was called, oh, well, that's not, wasn't it, but, um, I don't want to scare you, this is real. Like, girl, you're fear-mongering. You haven't even specified what bad means in this, uh, in this case, per Brubu in the chat. <laughs> Like, it's crazy. And I I also, you know, I think there's, like, balance here, right? I think there are many Americans, because this is specifically, well, she says all around the world. I can speak to the context of America. I know we were, like, joking about America earlier in the Twitch stream. But, um, but like, I think there are, there are many Americans who have many challenges, right? Like, I think it's, it's unrealistic to, like, deny that people aren't struggling and i i think that that's probably the case for a lot of people where old mima is from but it also is just like it's just like you're out here fear mongering like the end of the world is coming getting people scared for what reason with what proof you know that's that's the crazy part for me that's the crazy part because like like, as I said, like, I would say 
you know, Mima has troubles, and then there's people, you know, who are struggling to uh, shop and get the things they need for their family on top of, like, dealing daily with racism, dealing daily with homophobia, dealing daily with um, xenophobia and uh, Islamophobia, right? Like, and, and it's not, like, a competition by any means, but, like, I guess my point is just that, like, Mima is so, like, narrow-minded, and it's just, like, if I don't hoard a bunch of food, if I don't hoard a bunch of food, what am I going to do when the world ends? And it's, like, girl, you have food. You have, we've watched you hoard food. You have food. And there, there are people that can't afford the prices that you're complaining about in, in the grocery stores who could use some of that food that you got, that you're hoarding. Well, if it's not bad. Love, love, you know. love my cream all wheat, wheat. Allie, thanks so much for subscribing at Tier 1. And Welsh Cat, thanks for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. I'm going to let her eventually read out your message. I don't know why she's so slow love, today. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Mima just needs some CBD and a pickle bread and she'll chill out in no time. Mm, she loves... I, I don't know if she'd like pickle bread or not. I'm glad. I'm glad it's not bad in your city. Exactly. I'm glad everything is, is good. I mean, that's that's a blessing. Absolutely. But where I'm at, here in Lower Alabama... Oh, Lower... It's bad oh. here. I thought she said Laurel, um, like a girl's me name. Me and my husband only have one vehicle. Okay. I had a vehicle. I had just bought a brand new, brand new vehicle on a on a Lantra. Uh, I had when I broke my hip. I had bought it in 2014, but when I broke my hip, it was so low till I couldn't get in and out of it good. And uh, when my grandson got married and they had their baby, I gave my car to them. So, so explain to me why you only having one car now is a sign of the end times when it really seems like it was just a decision you made to get rid of it because it was no longer serving you. And then, and then you gave it away to a family member. Like, girl, what the fuck does that have to do with the state of the love, world? Love, love, love my cream all week, week. <laughs> That's just you aging, not the world ending. Exactly, right, Bunny. Thanks for the bits. <laughs> Things are bad. I only have one car. Yeah, there are so many families that, like, would be grateful to have one working car, you know? It's wild. <laughs> They needed a better car, and I gave it to them because I just could not get in and out of it. Right. Okay. We only have one vehicle. We have my husband's truck. Uh, I don't go. I mean, I, I'm I'm not a goer. <laughs> I go to the grocery store. <laughs> I'm when I... not a goer. What the fuck does that mean, Mima? Need to. Tomorrow. Uh, I'm going with a great granddaughter to Pensacola to take the great grandbaby. He's having some severe stomach problems, and uh, I'm going with her. And I'm gonna get to go to Bailey's. I'm so excited. What does this have to do with the end of the world? Like kids get sick, and now you're excited about going to Bailey. Is that like the Irish liquor, or is that like a restaurant or something? But you're you're excited to be going somewhere. I don't. Uh, Bailey's is a farmer's market in Pensacola. Oh. If you're anywhere near Pensacola from here, it's about 65 miles okay. one way. But since we're going to be in Pensacola at uh, her doctor's visit, well, uh, Bailey's is real close by, so I'm going to get to go to Bailey's, and I am just so excited. I'm, I'm so thr excited. I'm, I'm thrilled but, for you. <laughs> I don't understand what the problem is. <laughs> she only has one car to drive to the farmer's market. Please have some sympathy, Zach. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not being more uh, sympathetic or empathetic. 
<clears throat> Sounds like things are going well for her. That's what I'm thinking. It's like, oh, you get to take a nice trip to support your, your kid while they take their kid to the doctor. And you get to go and to a farmer's market you don't necessarily get to go to. Zach, gotta be patient and not pause, girl. Panda and Chan, I just want to welcome you to the Zachary Mike channel where I do reactions, which means giving my thoughts. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how new you are to the concept of the Zachary Michael on the internet, but this is kind of what I do. <laughs> I would, I would love to welcome you to, um, go watch Mima's content on your own. If you would like uninterrupted, uh, <laughs> if you'd like some uninterrupted content, uh, but my bread and butter is giving my thoughts about stuff and then eating crow if she ends up answering something uh, that I could have just waited five seconds to hear her say. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Zach. No worries. Okay, slay. Slay, mama. Anyhow, getting back, me and my husband only have one vehicle. Um, I have thought about getting another vehicle. Okay. But no more than I go, especially right now with gas prices so high. Sure. Um, and everything, I just don't see the need of getting okay, the second work, vehicle right work. now. So, work that seems that doing... seems really reasonable and responsible, Mima. That seems really reasonable and responsible. Very reasonable and responsible. Love, love, love my cream on wheat, wheat. Another sign of the end times: Zach is eating game animals <laughs> such as crow. <laughs> Beef piss flaps, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I'm fine. Oh, if the great granddaughter or the granddaughter, granddaughter in law has to go to town, a lot of times I go with her. A lot of times I will send by her. But, you know, we only have one vehicle, so we only I, pay insurance on do, do you only have one vehicle? I'm not so certain. Are you sure you don't have one hidden somewhere? Because <laughs> I'm kind of, it's kind of unclear. One vehicle. So, we don't have a lot of costs that way, like a lot of people does. Okay. Where everybody has Good. to work and everybody has jobs. We are. Uh, That's good. My dog's going around. You're so my fortunate. Here, he knocked it over. Oh. Uh, if if my husband goes to town, I'll tell him what to pick up. So. But anyhow, I know a lot of people in this fuel thing. It is really scary. We. This. This we, fuel thing. What is this fuel thing? Spell it out for those of us that aren't conspiracy theorists and preppers i need i need the context because i don't i don't un think i understand i don't think i understand do not use diesel except in the tractor um uh, that's the only thing we use diesel for but i have a son that lives in Niceville that has a diesel truck. Okay, good for him. A lot of him. people I know has diesel trucks. All right. Rumor has it that we're going to run out of diesel. <laughs> rumor. Rumor has it. Rumor has it we're going to run out of it. <laughs> and where is this rumor from? This is the thing. This is this is the fear-mongering part. I heard a rumor. Girl, who do, you, who do you know that would be able to tell you that, that, that we're all going to run out of it? Rumor has it. Rumors has it. The old Adele song. I'd be more concerned about the environmental damage. Well, that's what's so crazy because these same people, love, I would love, guess, love my cream all wheat, wheat. are probably... Rumor has it Mima started the rumor. <laughs> that's probably true, Jess. Thanks for the bits. The, these same folks would probably not be supportive of like alternative um sustainable options for for cars and stuff like that that's what's also wild to me like have have you also considered maybe we stop our dependency on the fuel industry on the fossil fuel industry as an option i'm saying this myself as somebody who just bought a car but 
But like, Jesus. I'm going to start hunting down the Facebook post she gathers her info from. Good luck. Keep up with it. Um, I don't know. You know, I don't know that much about it. Clear, clearly, because we're going off of rumors here, Meemaw. Uh, here in Alabama, I think our gas prices is holding about the same. You think? I have not bought gas on... Uh, but I haven't heard the rest of the family complaining about gas prices being so high. This is this is the issue, Mima. This is the issue. You're you're going off of feelings and vibes, and feelings and vibes that are based on rumors and whether or not your family is complaining about gas prices. <laughs> like what? My girlfriend watches you on YouTube, and that's how I found you on here. I fucking love you, bro. Okay, bro. Let's fucking go. <laughs> let's go, bro. Let's go. <laughs> She's just being opinionated and uneducated. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's, everybody's welcome to an opinion. It's just wild to me that her opinion is not based in any kind of, like, factual information. Like, like literally admitting, like, I've heard rumors. Okay, girl, with what proof? Like, where's the proof? That a lot of people don't think anything is going on. They don't think that we're in trouble. They say they've been hearing the same thing for years. Well, I'm telling you what I see. There is something definitely going on. Well, what what you see so far is that you you're you only have one car. That you're excited about getting to go to a farmer's market. And that you're not you don't even see, you're not sure that there's issues with diesel. Prices is high. Um uh, you know, I, a lot of people sent me such sad things, um, you know, and it, it's really sad. I, I don't know their situation. I don't know how they got into that situation. I don't, I just, you know, I don't know. And Well, I, I don't either because you haven't told me anything about their goddamn situation, Mima. Now you're, you're irritating me. <laughs> now you're irritating me because you're just... You're just talking vague about some shit. Not, I cannot judge anybody. For like it. this, this literally says we are in trouble. Many don't believe. But what am I even supposed to believe, Mima? <laughs> what am I even supposed to be believing? What is it that you think that I don't believe? Because it's so unclear. Things that that is happening to them or has happened to them. All I can do is pray for them. Hmm. But I have been it's, getting us. It's unfortunate that the only thing we could do is pray. It's it's so sad that there's not anything more we could do <laughs> to help people except pray. What's going on in the United States has systematically destabilized the Middle East to get your precious oil. That's the problem. Also, not to mention the environmental impact. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. We can't even ask for receipts, timelines, evidence since we don't even know what the issue is truly prepared for two years for because rumor has it <laughs> things are gonna get bad they're gonna get a lot worse than what they are now rumor has it rumor has it wait let me listen we can't obviously because we're recording this part for the youtubies we can't we can't do proper karaoke but let me just sing a little let me just get the lyrics and i'll just sing a little bit all right, she she ain't real. She ain't gonna be able to love you like I will. She is a stranger. You and I have history, or don't you remember? Sure, she's got it all. But baby, is that really what you want? Bless your soul, you got your head in the cloud. She made a fool out of you, and boy, she's bringing you down. She made your Heart melt, but you're cold to the core. No rumor has it she ain't got your love anymore. Rumor has it. Rumor has it. <laughs> rumor has it. <laughs> Do you like that little impromptu moment? <laughs> 
I don't think you'll have to worry about anyone copywriting this. Well, obviously, I was meaning, like, I can't play the background music. Not at JYP, at Hybe, at SM. I don't know if I want Hybe to represent me. I, I would let JYP do it, though. I try to buy meat when they're on sale. Thrifty. I have tried to buy beans. I can a lot of beans. I can a lot of everything. I know you do. Um, I've seen your whore. Canning is my hobby, and I love it. I, I just, I love it. Okay. This week, I've canned uh, some okra. I canned some sweet potatoes. We I love can canning the okra. I forgot that's how she said okra. I love that. And some vegetable broth. I have several videos that's coming out this week on some of the things that I can. Okay, work. Um. How you know, can someone it's, love it's been a good week. I'm going to Bailey's tomorrow. Listen, I don't know what else. I'm not going to shit on somebody's um, hobby. <laughs> if she wants to love canning, let her love it. Let her love it. I'm not going to yuck her yum. I will maybe yuck the venison in the in the jar, but come up with. But I'm sure at Bailey's, I'll come up with something. There'll be something that I want. It's just, like, unfortunate that this, like, couldn't be... I guess, really, what's frustrating is, like, yes, I think there are lots of, like, genuine concerns about the state of America, of the USA, of the world in general, and yet her her concerns are, like, how much, how can I continue to hoard food so that I, I survive this mess, you know? And that, to me, is, like, it's fine to have concerns. It's fine to have concerns about the, the price of things. It's fine to have concerns about, you know, like, if your family can afford stuff. It's just, like, all of that, though, has manifested in this, right? It is such a... It, it, is, it is just the most wonderful place. I love to go there. It's, to me, it's like Christmas. Oh, stunning. Merry Christmas, Mima. To those that are getting prepared and have been getting prepared. Uh -huh. What do I need to know? You're going to be so much blessed and so much thankful for the ones that's not getting prepared. <laughs> Somebody sent me a message and and I know this is it's all uh, and I do believe what they said. <laughs> can we can we bet on whether she gets to the point? <laughs> um, see, the thing is, is I feel like that's going to be so subjective. I don't really feel like she's going to get to the point, but I also, I'm not sure I'd be able to identify the point if she did get to it. Does that make sense? <laughs> if you've been preparing, though, you're going to be so much blessed for real, for real. Oh, <laughs> uh, and it's true in some of them. That the younger generation are the ones that's going to suffer the most because they're not preparing. They don't believe anything is going on. They haven't got prepared for anything. And they're minds. not going to know how to survive. Us people that have done gardens, that knows what's coming. Us people. You, th those people and us people. Oh my god. <laughs> Meemaw's talking like she's delivering a soliloquy to the globe, or at the globe. <laughs> she, she's talking like something. I don't know that that's the case. You know, the thing about all of this is that, like, she's talking about, like, oh, the younger generation isn't going to be prepared, this, that, the other. This is, like, a, a continuous, like, wild thing that is, like, I think... I mean, if you're, like, a millennial and younger, that is, like, irritating to hear from older generations. Because it's, like, so much of, like, the shit that I'm in that my generation has experienced is because y'all didn't set up us for success. Whether that's, like, personally our parents or, like, in general the world that your generation built for us. So, like... Yeah, who's, whose fault is it then that nobody taught me to garden, you know? <laughs> like, I don't... Where was I supposed to learn that, Meemaw? Okay? Like, also, like, 
This is my other issue is that you don't seem concerned about trying to help people with it. You don't seem to be concerned about bringing us in. It's just a lot of doom and gloom on your end. It's like, well, you're fucked. Well, she didn't say that. She said, she said you won't be blessed. <laughs> like, like, realistically, why don't you try to bring me in and help me? See, the problem is, is that if the world really does end, it's going to be folks like you that are going to let some of us just die, just starve. And you're going to protect yourself because you're selfish. That's why you're hoarding all this food to begin with. While other people go hungry. We have got prepared. Love, love, love my but grandma. We, we. I'll Should have been prepping and buying houses at age seven like everyone else, Zachary. I guess. Our country is in trouble. And we need to pray for the leaders of our country. Okay. Oh, that's what God tells us to do, to pay for to pray for the leaders of our country. Does God, wait, I y'all know I'm famously not a Christian. Does God say pray for Joe Biden? <laughs> Does God say pray for Kamala Harris? <laughs> like, like, is he, is he out here, like y'all Christians gotta tell me, is he out here saying that? Like, I'm just, I'm just wondering. <laughs> Bestie, we have a king and we literally call him Prince of Believers. Well, I'm talking about America. I don't, I don't know what y'all do in other countries. Respectfully, that's not supposed to be rude. I'm trying to find out from the context of America, because old Mima's from Alabama, which is in America, in the USA. Only for Trump, the real president. Oh, I see. I did, I think I did see that Trump was selling Trumped branded, Trumped, Trump branded Bibles, I love, think. Love, love, love my cream all week. I don't know, we. I'm not interested in Late to this party, hey besties, hope your day is as good as mine is. Uh, Harass, thanks so much for the 100 biddies, appreciate it. I'm a Christian, yes, Bible says pray for leaders, yes, but they don't, it's wrong. But like, leaders of America specifically? Because like... Wasn't the Bible, like, wasn't the Bible written, <laughs> well, I don't want to sound ignorant, but I, I was kind of under the impression that, like, countries and, and nation states were not the thing that they are now back then. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll put some prayers out for, well, no, I won't. Fuck President Biden, but, but like, uh, I'll, I'll, well, I won't pray. Let me, let me just, let me just stop there. I, listen, I already got, I, I got the people in my comments already that are like, you're so rude to Christians. And I'm just like, if only you know how rude Christians have been to me. <laughs> like, I, I'm just, here we are. All right, uh, let's keep going. I'm sure Mima has more important things to share with us. We may not like the leaders of the country, oh. or we may like the leaders of the country, but okay. we're still supposed to pray for them. Leaders don't necessarily mean politicians. That's true. So I, just, I guess then I'm just going to have to ask us to be a little more specific then on who I'm directing my prayers to. Again, I thank everybody that watched my video. I, I'm just astonished at how much how many views I got and the people that responded uh -huh. to it like I say I am trying I'm trying to answer everybody in some way that's so nice of you um, I won't be doing that. whether it's just putting a, a, a heart that I like their video I, I, I don't know. I no longer have the the time nor energy to respond to every comment I get on the internet but I love that that's something you're doing me ma no I got 
I don't know, six or seven, seven hundred comments. As I will pray for my leaders, Yeji, Ryu, Jen, Leah, uh, Choyoung, and Yuna. Um, particularly pray for Leah. We need to get her back in the studio. <laughs> no, I hope Leah's doing well. I really do. I really do. Did y'all, wait, rant right. Did y'all hear the Leah bully allegations? <laughs> when I found out that allegedly Leah was a bully, I was like... Really? Anyways. As of yesterday afternoon, and I haven't had a chance to go back and look at it, but I will. I'll do it this afternoon. But again, pray for our country. We are in trouble. Pray for everybody that has not prepared, especially the elderly. It's, oh. it's so sad to You're... hear the comments from the elderly. Wait, 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 wait. You said pray for the people who haven't prepared, especially the elderly. But was it not just you moments ago saying saying that, that it was the younger generation that was going to be screwed? Hmm. Hmm. I'm a Christian, but I think radical conservatives have misconstrued the Bible to fit their own narratives like me, Ma, here. Honestly, I know, I do want to be clear. This is going to sound like I have a Christian friend all over again, but I I have several friends who um, are, are Christian and are the most lovely people and have treated me with so much kindness. And um, just like I have friends of various faiths and religions who have all treated me so well, like being a Christian is not a monolith by any means, but I have had a lot of, a lot of my like religious uh, negativity in my life has come from people who were Christian or are Christian, you know? You feel me? All right. Okay. Telling you what kind of shape that they're in and how they don't have food or they can't um, Let's help them, Mima. You got to food. Buy food. We live off of our social security. Um, my dog is trying to go around my tripod again. Oh, we I, live off of our social security. Dog? Like I've told you, my husband <laughs> has a little job out back. His health is not good. And I told you a couple of weeks to go to pray for him because he has to have a biopsy. Sure, yeah. Well, he's got to have several biopsies. Well, I'm, I'm sure at this point, whatever happened, happened. You know, this is a year and a half ago. Our problem is he's had stents before he's had two. Oh, my God. To do the biopsies they got to do, they've got to put him to sleep. So they've got to uh, have the okay from the heart doctor to put him to sleep to do the biopsies. And I'm telling you, things do not move fast. Um, well, that is my dog modern is shaking American my health care, unfortunately, Ma. But um, things do not move fast. We still have not heard back from the heart doctor giving his okay. That um, not, Let's pray she didn't can that dog. I doubt she canned the dog. Oh, my God. Can have the mops. He's done. So please remember us in your prayers. That Absolutely. We can hurry up and get this. This can we over get some prayers in the and chat? Get some, uh, our final say on, you know, what is, what could be, and what could not be. Sure. Is this and it? I thank each and every one of y'all again. Are we done? Uh, for, <laughs> for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed to us, please do. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. This helps our... <laughs> I'm sorry. This helps my channel to grow. I gotta go. All right. I kind of, the only thing I kind of want to see is when this put, this is her most popular video. <gasps> Wait. This could have been, the, we watched this video. This was posted on October 23rd. And this was posted on October 30th. So it could be. It could be that. That could be the video she was referring to previously. So, there you go. <laughs> there you go. What are people saying in the comments on this one? Remember Noah. People didn't believe him and mocked him. Then the flood came. 
be encouraged. People want to be in denial until the floods come. Sad, but that's their reality. What <laughs> was it? Noah, a made-up person was like Noah based on a real person. Because I thought I thought that yeah I thought that was all allegory. <laughs> that's what I thought. Axel Arts. Okay, and Frodo destroyed the One Ring. That's not real. <laughs> Noah allowed cockroaches on the Ark. I'm not listening to him. Get out of here. Some faiths consider it allegory. Some consider it literal. I see. Our country is in trouble, Mrs. Margaret. We are a sin-sick country. We all need to seek the face of Jesus. I appreciate your sharing. Praying for your husband. Your videos... Why does that kind of look like Jen Chapin a little bit? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jen, if you're still here. Wait, I need a closer up picture. Why does that kind of look like Jen Chapin a little bit? <laughs> Wait, if you don't know what Jen Chapin looks like, she is so far away from this kind of content, but she is a YouTuber. Okay, okay, not from her actual YouTube, but if you look at this thumbnail... Girl, I'm here. I'm so sorry, Jen. <laughs> Anyways, Jen's twin in the in the in the comments says, Your videos are always the best. I do receive a notification each time you post a new video. We'll have regrets for things we did not participate in. Investment should always be on any creative man's heart. Cre is creative man an innuendo for gay? <laughs> You know, if, if you're a creative man. <laughs> oh, here's one for the people from the UK. Here, here's one for people from the UK. I'm in the UK and it's bad. Uh, everything has gone up and fuel is double for electricity, gas, etc. And fuel for cars is so high. People are in denial and they listen. Oh, mainstream news that lies to them. XX, love your... And I think it made it... I think it cut it off because I made the font bigger. I got married in 1977. And back then, my grandpa shared with my husband that we, that we would most likely see another depression worse than the one he and my Nana went through in their youth. Back in 1977. Alrighty. Sadly, the majority can't even comprehend what can slash will happen. 2023 will be an eye opener for most. Now what, and, and now what exactly happened in 2023? Janet Jones, 7880. <laughs> uh. Is he, you know, creative? <laughs> so sorry to hear people are giving you bad comments. You are the sweetest person and don't deserve it. My husband is finally believing and says he's glad I have been doing the work to keep us going. But he said we need more. I thirst for more blood. Maybe so, but I see plenty of squirrels out in the in the yard. What do squirrels in the yard have to do with anything? LOL, have fun tomorrow and enjoy Bailey's. All right, we got to we got to We got to stop YouTubies. We got to stop. We got to stop. <laughs> um Gotta stop, gotta stop. But Mima, thanks so much for the content. If nothing else, I have a I have a blast watching. <laughs> I had a blast watching. Um YouTubies! Thanks so much for being here. That's all I got for this week. I always post new Twitch schedules on my community tab here on the YouTubies and also on Twitter. 
Um, if you ever want to see when I'm streaming and want to come try to figure out the Twitch app and stream with us live over here. Otherwise, I always re-upload the next day. Bye-bye, YouTubies! Subscribe.